Hello everybody and welcome to SmackDown. We are late, we are quiet, and we got a short match card for you here today. And I'm not going to hold you from it. Up first, Rhea Ripley versus Blair Davenport. One of the most dominant forces the women's division has ever seen, Rhea Ripley. The Eradicator is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Adelaide, Australia, the WWE Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley! Ripley may just be one of the most intimidating presences WWE has ever experienced in either division. She strikes pure, unbridled fear straight into the hearts of her opposition. Yeah, it's almost impossible not to second-guess yourself when you're taking on Rhea Ripley. She can just seem unstoppable at times. I think Ripley has done all she can to cultivate the aura of fear. There's a mental aspect to her game that you can't overlook. Ready or not, Rhea Ripley is coming for her competition tonight. Enemies of Blair, beware. And she says she's cold, collected, and coming to dominate WWE. And from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Well, Blair Davenport has said that she's not here to impress anyone but herself. Well, she might not want to hear this then, but she's been impressive thus far. Does this woman have the answer for Ripley's trademark toughness, do you believe? Cole, I don't know if there's anybody in WWE or beyond who can match raw power with the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley. There's the bell, and Rhea Ripley is looking to continue on her path of domination. There's no one better than Mommy Cole. Ripley's been a top competitor everywhere she's gone, and in her current form, she's unstoppable. I'm sure there's a lot of women in the locker room who want to prove you wrong, Corey. But we have to turn our attention to Blair Davenport, who competed all over the world before finally setting her sights on WWE domination. She's not just here to take over the women's division. She wants to strike fear in the heart of anyone foolish enough to challenge her. According to Davenport, she has the wicked willingness to do whatever it takes to accomplish those goals. But in my opinion, all of this just makes her the scourge of the women's division. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Firm control. Oh, man, kick to the face. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. No, no, no. Slingshot. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. 
spitting in the face of danger. Momentum clearly on the side of Ripley. And the upper hand belongs to Rhea Ripley. When it comes to Rhea Ripley, what is going to be the key to her finding success in this matchup? Rhea needs to unleash herself completely if she wants to make the win tonight. We need to see the nightmare going all out, throwing everything she's got at her opposition. Two-handed choke slam! Getting back into the ring. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. We almost just saw a count out. Able to reverse. She isn't taking this lying down anymore. Blair isn't allowing that most of attacks to put an end to her. Is it enough? Two. Sends off the three count. She's still as determined as ever. Uh-oh, arms are trapped. No way to protect themselves. Look at all these oh card stops. And Davenport is continuously on the defense. Take off. Oh, Mommy's brutality simply can't be contained. Ah, oh, there's the winner. A hard-fought matchup for this superstar. Celebrating their victory at a Why? Oh, 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 oh. What's the purpose of this? You, you won the match. It's about making a statement, Saxton. It's about making sure your opponent remembers your name in the morning. This is ridiculous. Things are not looking good for Blair Davenport. Speaking of not looking good, things are also looking a little red and demonic for Bobby Lashley as he takes on the big red machine, Kane. The big red machine. It's scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing the Brothers of Destruction from Parts Unknown. Weighing in at 323 pounds, Kane! The Big Red Monster, perhaps the most sadistic superstar to ever step foot in WWE. Driven by twisted, demonic impulses every step of the way. Just look at the size of Bobby Lashley. Truly all opponent from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds. The almighty Bobby Lashley. And we've seen it so many times when that bell rings, Bobby Lashley flips a switch. And on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. Facing his most consequential hour, Megan engulfed in the flames. This one's official, and when it comes to the almighty, Lashley often looks to strike first and begin manhandling his opponents right away. We know when it comes to the almighty, there is no hype. Lashley operates on an insane level every day of his life. 
There really is no destructive force quite like the Almighty. Yeah, and Kane said his opponent has forgotten who WWE's true monster is. And he'll remind him by doing the devil's work. When you stand across the ring from Kane, you are getting a frightening glimpse of hell on earth. Ouch. Oh! Vicious knee. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Stop in the leg. And Lashley wasn't wrecking anything in that moment. Hellacious offense to flying. Piercing elbow. Lashley creates an opening with a counter. Oh, knee right through the stomach. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. You're not going to intimidate Lashley or outpower him or get the best of him on the match. Corey, what does an opponent have to do to conquer the Almighty? Lashley lives and trains in Denver, Colorado, exerting himself at high altitudes. So the longer this match goes, the more it benefits him. Catch Lashley off guard as soon as possible. Get him out of sorts and surprise him with a big move. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Oh, my gosh. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Gorilla press slam. Now he's been put on the defensive. Such physicality from Lashley. Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. Makes the cover. Only a one count before the kick out. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. What a barrage of stops. Lashley is just a punishing force. The big red monster showing weakness here. Great way to disorient your opponent. He got whipped into that corner. Textbook scoop slam. Nicely done. Stop after stop after stop. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right in the face. My God. Jarring impact. Lashley is unable to stop any attack. Bobby Lashley is definitely all out of sorts here. Caught off guard with some unexpected early attacks. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Lights out. DDT connects. Knew what was coming there. He's managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Maybe Lashley's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Big time power bomb. What goes up must come down, and it sure as hell did right there. And he gets set back into the ring. The competitive spirit is alive and well in this one. Yeah, I think these superstars are actually fairly eager to test themselves against one another. That means they recognize each other as being legitimate threats to their own ambitions. On the back of the neck, what's coming here? One, reverse choke slam. Face first. Big impact off the leg drop. Lashley is really, Bobby is in real danger now. Fall off with an elbow. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. This could be a tipping point in this match. He's able to fend off the attack. Vicious right forward. Punch connects. And Kane channeling his energy here. Dominating shoulder tackle. Elbow 
drop. Piercing. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Plunge up to the outside. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Attacking the knee. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Lashley's so composed, so in control right now. Bobby's just too massive to maintain. And Lashley adds to the damage he's already handed out. No doubt about it. It is do or die for the devil's favorite demon at this point. Toss back into the ring. And an almighty pose down from the multiple time WWE champion. All the way up, and the cross landing powerbomb. The spear. Lashley barrels through. Lashley just ended this. Now that was a great match, guys. It doesn't get any better than that. It's a shame that someone had to be the loser here tonight. It's certainly a treat for us to see two proud competitors in action here. Wow. I did not expect to see that happen. Mutual respect displayed. The Almighty beats the Devil's favorite demon. An impressive win for Bobby Lashley. And speaking of impressive, our tag team champions, Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes, are back. And tonight, they are taking on the tag team duo of Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Something tells me we are about to see a fight. Such an aggressive young talent, Sheamus is. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior. Yeah, just look at the spiked hair, the pale skin, the amazing physique. Sheamus is already standing out. Yeah, and you'll definitely notice him when he starts knocking opponents out. The Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, has arrived, and a fight is about to start. We have learned that wherever McIntyre goes, brutality follows. Right now, it is McIntyre who is leading the WWE Universe into battle. Sword. Drew McIntyre is a dangerous, dangerous man. McIntyre is as physical as it gets. He is not afraid to get down in the dirt or throw hands. Defiant, bold, Drew McIntyre bows to no man. 
He is as in your face as they come. A mass of man ready to go to war. Here comes Roman Reigns. Once the enforcer for the shield, now his own man. And more dangerous than ever. And from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Roman Reigns! Despite his impressive in-ring abilities, many still see Roman Reigns as unproven here in WWE. They think he hasn't taken that next step in his evolution. A main event championship win would go a long way for Reigns in that department. That's something he's determined to make happen as soon as possible. I don't doubt Roman's determination, but winning titles and main events are easier said than done. We all know Roman has the ambition, maybe even the skill, but he's got to fight for it like everyone else. One thing is for sure, Roman has no lack of confidence. You can say that again. Cody Rhodes is here, dashing no more. Look away, he's hideous. And from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Cody Rhodes. You know, once upon a time, Cody called himself dashing. Now he's consumed with Ugliness. Yeah, he's even brought paper bags to the ring and demanded that fans and the crowd wear them. I'm surprised he hasn't made you wear one, Saxton. Well, if that was the case, you wouldn't hear me on commentary, Corey. I fail to see the problem there. Cody says he'll win tonight or he will never show his face again. Is that a promise? I hope it is. And here we go with this tag team matchup. We are getting this battle underway as we see Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. And we'll see if they're prepared for tag team action as they go head to head with Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. And communication for these teams is going to be key in this one. A complete focus on teamwork is the only way to win. Punishing their opponent. Nice. Bobby blows. He's in off the tag. And down with the suplex. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Tag is good. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Boom! Off the boot! They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. The big dog had that scouted. Shoulder tackle! He's got the answer for that one. Oh, my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Vicious right forearm. Just caught flush. Makes 
the cover. Oh, somehow. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Getting tossed around. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Fails to connect on the springboard. a bold attack on Sheamus. Right across the larynx. McIntyre must be getting phased by this attack. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cody delivers. Bludgeoning their opponent. Every strike more devastating than the last. My God, enough! Cody trying to get this crowd on their feet, trying to get them behind him. Yes, tag! Vicious headbutt. <laughs> Launched with a belly to belly. Really just laying it in. Drew just taking a moment to soak it all in. Oh, right on the arm. Not good. He avoids the damage. Brought down with the bulldog. Had that one scouted. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Rhodes turns it around. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. Side rushing leg sweep. There's a tag. Solid punch. He's got him down. Is this it? He gets an emphatic kick out. Just power out. side of an elbow. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Right to the face. My God. Point of the elbow finds the mark. Punch lands. Kick to the cut. Uh-oh. Reigns comes up short on that attack. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Ooh, drop right on their face. Hoisted up into a backbreaker. And Looks still like holding on. There's more to come. A second. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. The switch here to Drew McIntyre. Big impact off the neck breaker. He's on his heels a bit now. The Kamara. The Kamara. Kamara cinched in. Good luck getting out of this. I guess that's one way to do it. There's a tag. Raw tag made. Oh, man. Hits him with the counter. It is unbelievable what these athletes have been putting each other through. Absolutely pushing each other beyond any normal human's limits. Avalanche white noise! Oh, 
Just in time. Tag is, in. Tag is made. What's going to happen here? Boom! Off the boot! The Celtic Warrior letting some of that constant rage and frustration out. And he gets the tag. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. This whole building is shaking. Matches like this are what it's all about. Up and around, down. Hoping to end it here. Breaks the count. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Sheamus with the Irish curse. I don't think Sheamus is done by. He gets tagged in. Boom! Pulling out the Enziguri to stop them in their tracks. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. The American Nightmare. Showing his power, Alabama Slam. Kick to the gut. And a big right hand. Rose kick to the gut, drops down. Oh, right in the jaw. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. Uh-oh, position in. Measuring. In. Oh, knee drop. Woo. Does he have him here? And he fights it off. How this match is still going on defies all reasoning. This could spell doom for McIntyre. Rhodes has his opponent. Oh, finish oh. Rhodes. Can that finish McIntyre? Wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, Rep. Keep these guys in check. Cody sparing some time for the adoring fans. Tag is made, and here we go. Caught with a clothesline. Extending their opponent's arm a big leg drop. The Celtic Warrior in bad shape here. Continued offense courtesy of Cody Rhodes. And Sheamus really having the fight brought to him there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Sheamus with the Irish cross. I don't think Sheamus is done. Submission move, will they tap? 
He doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Not the position you want to be in right now. Targeting the throat there. Tags him in. That hit tracks from he could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Three, no. I am in shock. What's it gonna take to keep this guy down? Tag is good. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal forearm. Tag made. Oh. Evading offense. Into the corner now. Boom, what a right. Oh, impressive counter. Tire holding him at bay. Goes under the ropes to get back inside, and that holds Cody back. Bring in the arm. Ooh, what wasn't it? Power bomb position. But right hands create separation and an escape. Going down low. Shot to the throat. The American Nightmare with the Alabama Slam. This their opponent's uh, legs. Uh, and oh. that's a this could do it. Kicks out. He still has life. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Supernatural Ooh. power. He's tagging out. Just rubbing salt in the wound now. There's the switch. Drew McIntyre's in. Wow! Belly to belly. There's the tag. Rhodes about to head to the pay window. Trumps Rhodes. That could be Sheamus's demise. Great strength being shown here. Stunning this play of power. breaker. Just pinning the arm down and then driving a knee into the arm. Right to the gut. High risk territory for Sheamus. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. Blast off. Diving shoulder tackle. He thinks he has it. And the victory. Here are your winners. The team of the Celtic Warriors, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. This pairing paying strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight.
right. A disappointing loss for our tag team champions, but the Scottish Irish allegiance is a powerful one. And speaking of powerful people, the main event. A triple threat between our immortal champion, Eddie Guerrero, L.A. Knight, and Seth Rollins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event, so we will be going off the air. I love you, and I will see ya on Monday Night Raw. Now here's someone ready to storm into a fight. First one to enter, last one to leave. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. Knight may not be the typical WWE superstar, but he has become one of the top names around in short order. He is truly maximizing his time right now. We are in for a treat tonight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. First from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, the WWE undisputed champion, Eddie Guerrero. The former WCW cruiserweight and United States Champion, a man who has held the ECW television title. And above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but to Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. It's time to stand up and show some respect to the future of WWE, Seth Rollins. And representing the authority, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Cocky, crafty, conniving, Seth Rollins is one heck of an athlete, but his ego and attitude have obviously eclipsed his otherwise impressive talent. Okay, Cole, crafty? Yeah, you yourself dubbed him the architect, Cole. Conniving? He simply has vision. Cocky? Why wouldn't he be? He's the future of this company, like it or not. Carrying the weight of this company on his back, Rollins refuses to crumble under the pressure. In fact, he thrives on the pressure. He wants to be the guy. He believes it's the time the torch is passed down to him.
We have an exciting triple threat match on tap here. All set for action, and we're kicking it off with L.A. Knight, Eddie Guerrero, and Seth Rollins. It's all about outsmarting and outlasting two opponents to claim victory here. So you got to make sure you don't get too far ahead of yourself. Pow, what a shot. Boom, oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Able to reverse that one. Back suplex. Oh no. Face buster. Drop kick. Big forearm. Pop up their opponent. And a reverse power slam. What a move. Put into the corner now. Monkey flip. Running Hurricane Rana. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. L.A. Knight ready to use the microphone as a weapon. This time, literally. Bam! There's definitely an elevated sense of pressure in a triple threat match. Yeah, that's because it's really your match to lose. You don't have to be pinned to lose this one. The pendulum is swinging faster with each passing second. Eddie Guerrero just mocking his opponent now. And Seth was able to be tamed there. L.A. Knight backing up that top with some... What are they gonna do here? How about a little? Oh, the gory spit. He breaks up the hold. Escapes in a nick of yeah. time. Good technique reversing Rollins. Emphatic fall away there. Boom, a forearm smack. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. Can he score the pass? And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Standing shooting star press, incredible. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. Goodness gracious. The proverbial mud hole has been stopped, and now it's time to walk it dry. I can see a little frustration in Eddie after that, maybe losing some composure. Seth possibly testing the limits of his opposition. Rollins showing off his offensive arsenal. This can't be how Knight envisioned this fight going. Something tells me he's looking to hit more than a home run here. Able to give him the slip. Oh, with authority! Setting up for something here. Down on the windpipe. Big reversal by Rollins. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Oh, that's unnecessary. Neck breaker. Eddie was ready for that. Picture perfect drop kick. DDT. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh, man, come on now. Not a sledgehammer. Wow, springboard attack. Good God, what first. The hammer dropped. Literally, something might be broken. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. And you can tell there are true intentions in mind right now. Sledgehammer right to the gut. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. Power slam. Guerrero's falling victim to the onrush right now. Attack after attack from a determined L.A. Knight. Boom, nice. Incoming. Big time power bomb. And as this match rolls on, Rollins is taking on even more crucial damage. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punishment, it really builds in these type of matches. Oh. Here's the torture rack. Racked up, not finished yet. Oh, oh to the kidneys from behind. Here he goes for the win. 
There's the setup. Here we go, Byron. he's able to still fight on. You got to imagine this match has a different complexion after what we just saw. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Sleeper hold cinched it. Deep. He gets there. A few seconds longer, and this match would have been over. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, goodness. Guerrero might be in trouble now with that nasty cut on his face. This has been an absolutely brutal display of will from these men. You can see their flames starting to flicker. And it's only a matter of time before one goes out. How in the world do these superstars have anything left at this point? The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go from way up to the moon down. What a bang! Think so! He kicks out at two. How in the world did he kick out? Got the hit. Uh-oh. Escape just in time. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Snap suplex. Here's the torture rack. Racked up. Not finished yet. Oh, Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Here it comes. Vintage pedigree. Seth Rollins' arrogance on full display with that gesture. Thinking about the end, finishing this thing off by any means necessary. <laughs> Snapmare. Oh, and the rolling neck snap. Big boot. That's that vintage Guerrero cockiness. Boom! And Seth is really not for absorbing that attack. Knight has certainly taken his licks in this matchup, but he's somehow within reach of victory. Ooh. He's going to the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. Uh-oh. He fends off the attack. Driven down. All the momentum has swung tonight. Rollins has to devise a new plan. Placed in the corner. Boom, right to the midsection. Kick to the stomach. He's turning the tables. Uh-oh. Just turn that around. Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Boom. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Hung across the top rope. This could do it. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Drop kick to the knee. That's great strategy. Rollins dodges in the nick of time. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Vicious 
Nice right forearm. L.A. Knight. B.F.T. Will Knight end this? It's been a struggle for these competitors to find an end to this match. But the struggle's worth it. With every move you make, you hear this capacity crowd following you on that journey. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. We got a cover. And there's the breakup just in the nick of time. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. And proving a bit slippery for them there. And he sends him into the corner. Guerrero making clear he has his number. Oh, wow. Go look at that horrible gash on second. Boom, what impact. Something's about to go either very wrong or very... Look at that high splash! Seth's eyes look glazed over. Amazing! Wow, what a kick out. I'm amazed at the fight Seth Rollins is bringing. And now Eddie has to shake that outcome off. He has to keep his mind on his opponent. Knee strike connects. Pop up their opponent. Into reverse power slam. Wow. What are we about to see? Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Rollins known to be irritating. We're seeing no different now. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Charm. And the same splash does it. Will Eddie make it pay off? He's able to sidestep there. DDT! Talk about devastation. The WWE Universe standing at attention, completely entranced by this matchup now. Can't miss action taking place in front of them. Nobody wants to blink. They do not want to miss a second of the action at this point. Oh, God, that hurt. Oh, oh taking a swing straight to the face. And the damage is just going. And there's the cover. And he stops the count. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Oh, line drop kick. Room assisted drop kick. And some effective offense with that one. Precise aiming on that basement drop kick. Standing shooting star press. Incredible. Uh oh. -uh. Target in the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. Triple threat match.
I cannot even imagine how any of these men feel after a match like that. All I can really say is that they put on a triple threat match for the ages.